not what's important right now. What is is winners finals right now at MSM. Nico versus I'm Hip. This is a matchup we've seen at this juncture of the bracket uh, time and time again since yeah. the release of Ultimate. And it's just a matchup that we've seen a lot in SoCal to begin with. Yeah. Because uh, either I'm Hip or like Aim Bad, Nico has a lot of experience with his character. Absolutely. There's always been a solid Olimar in SoCal. It's like no matter what game it's been. So a lot of you are pretty used to the character. And uh, right now, I gotta say, I'm Hip is looking like the best player in SoCal. Like, Period. Absolutely. I mean, results-wise, I, I don't think anyone else uh, is up to par with him yeah. yet. And he's he's demonstrating it right now as he's got Nico already at 156% oh, yeah. off stage, oh. and he misses the ledge with the backslash. Nico gonna lose his stock to his own accord. Yeah, that uh, that new trick with the, the backslash, you know, the snap ledge from all the way up there. It's yeah. Very similar to like clouds up deep, but I don't know that angle is not the business. Yeah. Not what we want to see, and nonetheless, uh, I'm Hip sitting at 85% on his first stock, and he's getting great damage here, already racking up 43 on Nico, just safely spacing himself around these aerials. Yeah, I mean, Shulk is not a bad pick against Almar 1 oh, yeah. because the sword can kind of like mitigate a lot of range while killing the Pikmin, and oh, then yeah. he can edge guard him really well because his hitbox, there's no hitbox on his LB. Yeah, and one thing in particular that I just noticed too is that the usage oh. of Shulk's neutral air in this matchup. It has such a big hitbox that when Pikmin are latched onto him, it's pretty easy to get them off. Up the out of shield. Not gonna be enough, but putting I'm hip in a precarious situation. Oh, nice. I thought we were gonna go for the up tool while he was in Smash Art, but up air is just as good. Different, different uh, execution, same effect. And only 85% behind now. Looks like he's got the momentum a bit in his favor. Another up, sp up uh, special out of shield from Nico. Nice. Oh. Into the double forward air. He's seeing if he can force the up the recovery. Got the smash art. Oh my goodness. He's, Inches away. He's going so. Oh, but the oh. smash art betrays him. Bet it all on that spike and then paid the counter when he just dropped it. So now he has another opportunity here. I got the ledge again. Nico pretty strong in this position usually. Yeah, and he gets a down throw by the ledge. Oh. Setting up for a potential edge guard. Nico still sitting in a really good spot right now. Hasn't taken any percent. Just as I say it. Let's hit up by the jab of skill. He has a really good stage presence. He's gonna try to see if throw him off. Nice. Up tilt keep back in the air again. Almost got the shield poke, but the up tilt. Uh, I love oh, the way he pressured on the shield there with the uh, landing up air into the immediate up tilt. There was nothing I'm hip really could have done there. Oh, but look at this lineup. Really scary stuff. Oh, you didn't get the white Pikmin. Also, he took all that percent. 44. Just from getting last stroke from Pikmin. That's a lot of damage. But uh, giving up the stocks here, that means he can still win this game. He just has to get Armour off stage. I'm mean, making it really hard though. Nice double jab into the grab. Oh, well, the whistle time is pretty interesting too. I'm starting to recognize I'm here. When he's in Digimon, he's either doing the whistle or he's just throwing out a hitbox. He's not really air dodging that much, which is actually really good. Yeah, great, especially since uh, air dodge has been significantly nerfed in this game. After all, oh, oh. Bro, with the blue at 168, yeah, you're definitely either game one going to I'm hip, Mr. Number One. Mr. Number One, number one man. When's that? When's that uh, Smash Ultimate PR coming out? You know, bro, like I really feel like I'm hip the best, like as far as results, because even Void, even though Void's won two tournaments, one in SoCal, one in NorCal, I just has a, a winning record versus Void too. Oh snap! Hello. So, uh, all right. Yeah. It's just, I'm hip to really gotta. I'm, I'm looking for the day for I'm hip to like win something big, right? Like part yeah. of the part of battle or to, for him to solidify is, himself. Is the next big one. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Line man. him up, dude. Seventy percent. Yeah, and I mean, Nico is taking all this oh, percent. Oh, oh, oh my God. goodness! It's like, get out of my face, dude. Only yeah. five percent. Yeah, I mean, I mean. That's a message that needs to be well received by Nico because he is playing on the aggressive side of things, and that's costing him a lot. Every percent's gonna matter, as you can know. Olimar is gonna be able to kill at a high enough percent with the simple grab. Yeah, it's, it's scary because Olimar is a character that just can rack up so much percent, just like tick damage, like tiny little hits, add up so fast. 
As you can see right now, being a throw while having to wipe him in last round, Nico did tons of damage. Yeah, already at 83%, but Nico's got a potential ledge guard, Ooh. and he finds it with a down air. He's been going deep with those consistently, and he finally finds one. Yeah, that time it was just barely enough to connect. Before he was like inching off the team. Okay. Oh, <laughs> have to take yeah. that. I'm hip trying to answer back with the oh, down air. Oh, and the down smash again caught Nico landing on the with the aerial in front of him. Got hit with a raw smash attack. Oh my god, how many forwarders can you chain together? I mean, looking like Sheik out Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, even better than Sheik, honestly. Yeah, it is way better. <laughs> Sheik's forward smash or forward air chain does like That did 20%. Percent. <laughs> yeah, like hers was like two. Man, rest in peace, Sheik. Man. Pray for the buffs, man. Oh, jeez, these purple juggles, man, is so much. I think actually he's really aggressive. I think his character lends it to like being team defensive, but the way he's fighting Nico right now, he's like in his face oh, yeah. really well. And I mean that's just a testament to how well I'm able to get a read on the second Nico. air slash, dude. That covers so much range. Oh, that was a crazy slash. All right, nice forward air to get out of trouble there for my hit. I think you're gonna have to see a Nico stock if you want to bring this one back. Absolutely, 121 percent. He's in a pretty deathly situation. Oh my god, the fair train coming oh, out again. Oh, that jump art. Really scary position. Got the smash art too, almost. Ooh. But he's gonna force the up beat. Oh! oh. So deep off Hello. stage. He was not coming back if that missed. He bet it all on that. And he paid off, man. Result. That was actually really good use of the Monado art and Eric Jardy to take that game back. We actually got the Nico stock that you were talking about. Hey. Yeah. Was that? Wait, I saw the scoreboard said Nico 1-0. Is that, was that? Did I'm hip or Nico win game one? It was I'm hip. It was I'm hip, right? Yeah, so okay. it's 1-1. So it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, Unless it's like, no, no, yeah, I think it, it said 1-0 in Nico's favor, so. Oh, yeah, no, better, I'm hip. Better fix that. That was definitely uh, I'm hip winning the first game, oh, Nico yeah. winning the second game. So now we're all tied up going back and forth. Really competitive if you want. That's what you want to see, man. I want to say these are the two top tier players at this tournament right now, so. It's very likely. Yeah. Then the goal is so even is, uh, Saying that we know what we're talking about, we've seen this turn. Makes us look good. Oh. Alright. Kill pressure here. Nice. Oh Air slash. Normally that move, that up smash on shield, if it's not a purple one, not super safe, but it is. Oh, wow. Dang. You call it rolling. Wow. Smash art too. Perfect time to get a kill. And only 28% on Taniko. This is the best position he's been in all set. Usually he's been playing from behind. I think something that Nico can do that will you know, catch on him off guard is if he just jumped in his face and grabbed because he just conditioned to shield a lot of these neutral airs and uh, bears. If he just like jumps in there and gets like, a quick throw off stage, it can work really well for him. Oh, but, yeah. Especially since Nico is so strong in the uh, edge guarding department. We saw him get the stock, uh, very clutch stock in the last game with the smash forward. Nice, another air slash out of shield. He's starting to say you can't throw that up smash. Safely like you do everyone else. And now there's punish ready for you. Oh, great parry. The throw. Wow, nice. Beautiful play coming out from Heim Hip. Was just ready for that landing aerial that uh, has been consistently coming out from Nico's end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He mix it up with the throw. Just jump in front of him, put, uh, forcing the shield, and then just get a quick grab. Great up throw. Oh, my goodness. He flew so fast. <laughs> jump bar is like... Physics changes are always just really weird to see. Okay, double purple here, another air slash out shield. Gonna block those, gets rid of the purple, no, just slide it off stage, but then whistles it back into his control. Okay, this time he's gonna bait out the air yeah. slash. That one actually, exactly, was a bait, knowing that his uh, up smash has very little end lag and recognizing that Nico is just constantly up being out of shield. Oh, that up to range though, it's so large. And it's very strong as well. Nice awareness. Okay. And hit with another parry to grab. Oh, misses the throw. Trying to set up an opening here. Nice. Killing the pick and a beautiful turnaround. Air slash again. I really like Nico's pressure right now. Gonna stick to the shield guard. Just hang on as long as he can on the stock. Nico doing a really good job of hanging on to this like Nair to Fair. 
kind of keeps up the chase. It gets forward smash versus oh, trouble. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that dude, parry was Come so on. good. Dude. If he didn't parry that, he was, he was going to cross the shield for He's free. Man. While he was in jump uh, right there. Oh, better watch your shield, Nico. Oh. The damage racks up super quick with his character, Olimar. Nice. Going on Dato, going for another smash card. Slices him up. He's going to go low again. Oh, barely missing. And nice timing on the neutral wow. there. So good. So he's back on stage again. He goes going super greedy for the kill here. He makes it past him. Oh, nice shield pressure. Ooh. Throw him with the purple. And now he has a blue throw as well online. Really good lineup right now for I'm Hip. He's in the shield art knowing that he needs to stay alive as long as possible. <laughs> he yeah, actually he went nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> All right. Scary position for Nico here, though. Not... The next mistake he makes should be the stock. Yeah. He threw the Pikmin trying to mix up Nico a little bit here. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm thinking he's going to parry into a grab. Oh yeah, that blue throw definitely pulled right now. Got two of them. Shield keeping him alive again. Oh. Hey, he's on stage. Oh, goes too deep. Oh, the second wow. slash. That was actually crazy. Unbelievably looking super heavy, Nico at 182%. Nice. Great spacing from Nico here since he ain't alive as long as you can't try to space the air splash. Oh, he didn't turn around! Dude, all right, I'm hip is like, how, how much do you think he practiced those recoveries? Man? He has to practice those. <laughs> you gotta, you can't. His hitbox, his recovery has no hitbox. Staying alive with the shield art as long as he can. Is he gonna have a switch here? Going for an edge guard? Too low again. He's going, he's going off too early. I think it's really too good. Wow. Nice. Yeah, Nico's getting uh, twice as too early for his uh, off stage pair. Took over edge guard. And I'm him capitalized both times. Final time, though, coming out there with the last stock. That was actually really great stuff from I'm him. Yeah, it's, uh, Nico has to be smarter about calling out the jump and the up because he's going off way too early. And it's just costing him losing stage control. So 2-1, I'm hit one game away from the Sydney Grand Finals. We're playing all of our matches on PS2. We don't like any other stage in this game, man. The stage has the best music anyways. It kind of does. Like, Gladion, Xenia's theme, like numerous yep. Pokemon battle themes. Yep. 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 Can't really go wrong. Legendary Pokemon themes. Honestly, if you don't like a single song on this playlist, you're just wrong. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but uh, right now, I'm hip is saying, yeah, you're doing all the wrong moves right now. Giving me a free stock, only 17% taken in the blink of an eye, pretty much. Nico's going to have to do a lot to bring this one back, I feel. Absolutely. Finds an air. Fair. Great whistle. And I'm hip using, utilizing that whistle so well to break out of it, especially the low percent combo since he ends up right in front of him in a good position to punish usually as well. Yeah, and just doing it, that spot on the stage was so smart because he didn't want to let Nico get a chance to edge guard. Right. Oh my goodness. Man. So strong. Both hits of the other in the smash chart taking that stock. Nico only took 39%. It's not too bad. Grab this time, so I see if can bait out that whistle. Oh, yeah, the white big man latching so on, so he's percent. gonna take a lot of percent, about 30. Yeah, even while using Buster R2, I believe he takes more percent while he's in that mode. Could be wrong though. Okay. Oh, the snipe called out the jump, man. Stayed right under him with the purple up there. I'm even again taking another stock, one stock away from potentially sitting in the grand finals of the tournament. And he's still sitting on a relatively healthy stock. Oh, the <laughs> angle <laughs> Never down mind. with the Smash R2. Was sitting on a healthy stock. Nico pulling himself right back into the game and potentially the set. Oh. Trying to find an answer here. I like Nico that was still like, was able to shield after that great whistle time on the up so Nico trying his best to play as clutch as possible and bring us to a game five. We saw earlier with that comeback. Let's see if he can do it again. Check this. Oh, misses both hits. That's so unfortunate. I'm not even sure what was that activated the vision in that case. Yeah, he uh, went for an up there while he was striking on the platform. And this all three into the jab. We got the smash right here. Going to go for the brawl stage and see if he can catch the recovery this time. 
going to throw him off. Yes. And he waits it out. Yeah. This time he's actually able to get the 4 yard to connect. And it's like you mentioned, man, that's the main difference is that he is actually playing more reactive in that case, whereas the uh, the last few games he, he was going for that same edge guard, but preemptively throwing out these forwarders rather than waiting for I'm hip to burn his double jump or use his up. Yeah, you just have to do it because that up has no hitbox, but it does have a lot of drift. So if you just jump out there first, he can just drift away from you before you can hit him and get back to the stage. Not, there's no worry for uh, and Olimar to delay their recovery all, all the time. They can, uh, because of the drift, they can just do it whenever. All right, he got that game five. five yeah. Nico is another really quick comeback, and this Buster are working wonders here. Oh, I would have liked for him to take the opportunity to kill the purple while he's on stage by itself, but still, good position here for Nico. Great air slash out of shield yet again. Smash arts in play. He's gonna go high, yeah, oh, he waited yeah. again. This time, a really, really bad recovery this time here, going straight to the stage with all the lag. Wow, very, time. very unorthodox for I did. In fact, you've seen him recover so masterfully the rest of the time. Yeah, but this, Nico's gonna take that all the way to the bank. Yeah, and this is actually one of the few times Nico has actually had a really good stock lead, so this could prove to be really bad for I'm hip, because I haven't seen how he plays me from uh, behind, really. Oh, but the Alpha jump in. No. I mean, there's a reason why you haven't really seen him play from behind too much, because he's usually playing from the leading position, and if he's trailing, it's not going to take him very much to get a, a good read in a forward smash. Yeah, that's the power of Olimar. Oh, oh, great tag. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. I still hit him on the leg. Oh, man. You can't find a way around this sword right now. Another air slash. Going high. And we have to be another air yeah, Nico completely just disallowing I'm hit from returning to the stage. Oh, wow. How did he miss that grab? That was the slowest grab I ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm hip able to pull out a spot dodge before he was getting grabbed. Smash art once again here for Nico at the ledge. Oh, face. Okay, I'm hip starting to get something started here. Great lineup. Ooh, catch the jump in with the floor smash. Barely misses. F2 and the shield are not that strong, but he still has him at the ledge. Ooh, where's he gonna go? Up tilt, might be on the table for Nico if he catches the jump. No, let's him get the center stage for three. And I'm just choosing to just fight with the purple. I guess he didn't, I don't know, I guess he wasn't confident to support the pick, man. That was a little questionable. All right, parry to neutral air. Staying alive now. Gonna take all the damage, it's okay. Just still doing up the damage like a sponge. Oh. Okay, cross up, triple forward there. Oh, the purple coming in clutch. I'm gonna get the jump in first. Oh, nice. All right, and I'm oh, hip keeping top. it close to the chest right now, taking that stock with an up air. Nico trying to send him into the blast zone. Yeah, just barely missing that forward air he needed, but he gets another one. Still not giving him any chance to breathe here. He's got smash out of the oh, line. Oh my god. away from dude. connecting. Whew. I was so close. I mean, I'm have had to have been ready for that option. Maybe he didn't know exactly it was in a forward smash, but he knew that Nico was going to come at him with everything he had and threw out that spot dodge just in time. Yeah, really good stuff here. I'm here just trying to stay alive as best he can. Nice snipe with the purple Pikmin. Gets around him and Peg gets a hit. Now that stage control with two. Oh no, sorry, one purple Pikmin. All right. Nico's still trying to save three space with these forward airs and back airs. Oh, it's a mash art. Mash art. Comes from the upper ledge. Oh, wow, no invincibility at all. It was gone that.